So the endocrine system. The following is just an introduction that will not be relevant for step one. I just want to illustrate the importance and of the endocrine system and how it affects what we do. So I'm taking a lot of this this little video from Professor Robert Sapolsky from Stanford, who talked about this. But basically, I'll talk about a few things. Having a period, eating a lot of junk food, and anabolic steroids. Taking taking anabolic steroids. What do these all have in common? And obviously, they have something to do with the endocrine system. Since I'm talking about them now, but what do they all have in common other than that? What they have in common is that all have been used in the courts of law to explain the behavior of a murderer: having a period, eating too much junk food, and taking anabolic steroids. So having a period, a lawyer took some. They took some literature. It showed a significant, a disproportionate amount of female aggression was around the time of menses, and they used that for their argument in defense of their defendant who had murdered someone. Eating junk food. The guy who assassinated Harvey Milk and the San Francisco mayor, his defense, it's known as the Twinkie defense, which was that his addiction to sugar caused fluctuation. His addiction to Twinkies really. Caused, flu caused fluctuations in his blood sugar, which caused him to do what he did, which was assassinating Harvey Milk and the San Francisco mayor. Finally, anabolic steroids. There's been weightlifters that have argued that their steroids have caused them to become violent. So those are examples of how this endocrine system has been used in courts of law to explain behavior of the murderer. And the point here is that Sometimes the stuff going on in your body can influence what's going on in your brain. And we're going to see that the brain is also going to influence what's going on in your body. It's going to influence the hormones that's going to go out throughout, throughout the body. It's going to cause a lot of changes. So that's the endocrine system. It's marvelously complex. And so let's get into it.